Uh, I'm in a little breakfast group with five people. We meet once a month. Uh, in the group are two poets, two artists, and me. And so this month they discussed the number two. That was something that was interesting to them, and they were discussing it from a poet's point of view, an artist's point of view, and so my take on it is this. When I think of the number two, I think of systems like this that we call binary systems. On, off, true, false, yes, no, right, left, forward, back, up, down, things like that where there's only two possibilities and those two possibilities cannot happen at the same time. Now in nature we have something similar and that's this. This just occurs naturally. If we have a wire and we pass an electric current through the wire, that current will induce a magnetic field around the wire that points in a certain direction. If we send the, the electric current through the wire in the other direction, it also forms a magnetic field, but that magnetic field goes in the other direction. So current through a wire can only go in one of two directions and can't do it at the same time. And every time it does, a magnetic field forms around the wire in one case in one direction, in the other case in the other direction. Now, if you take these two situations right here and assign the number zero to one of them and the number one to the other one, and set your system up so that you do this kind of arithmetic with those two numbers, so here's the number zero and one, here's this operation, uh, circle addition, this operation, circle multiplication, defined like this, here's our addition table. Zero plus zero is zero, zero plus one is one, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 0. A little different than we might expect, but we have to put this 0 right here so that we stay in this set and we have certain properties that we follow. And the only choice really for that number is 0. Here's the multiplication table with our circle multiplication. 0 times 0 is going to be 0. 0 times 1, 0. 1 times 0, 0. And 1 times 1, 1. So this type of arithmetic with these two numbers 0 and 1 and this fact in nature right here where we assign and if we can assign the number 0 to one of these magnetic fields and the number 1 to the other one, we can build a computer. So this is how computers work. Inside the computer, a bunch of little wires with a current going through them in one direction or the other magnetic fields being formed, we can sense which direction the magnetic field goes in, and so we have a whole bunch of zeros and ones that we can do arithmetic with. So when I think of the number two, I think of binary systems like this, this fact in nature, this kind of binary arithmetic right here, and this is the way in which you build computers.